Thank you, thank you. Um, this, this story is not planned out. Um, it just happened, so here we go. Uh, mentoring Positives, I'm the founder, Will Green, of Mentoring Positives. Um, it's a mentoring program working with at-risk youth. At, at -risk youth. Um, we're located on east side of Madison and Darbo Worthington Park neighborhood. Um, the hook is the key. Basketball was something that inspired me to be who I am. Um, it, it helped me to become more self-confident, um, built my self-esteem to be a leader, and also um, not on the basketball court, but outside in life. This is my father. I never knew my father for like 42 years. My aunt gave me this obituary about two years ago. That's a whole nother story. I only got five minutes. Um, as you can see, his name is Ronald Brown. I'm Will Green, so I should be Will Brown, not Will Green. Uh, this is one of the reasons why I got into mentoring. Uh, my mom was very, very passionate, very inspirational in my life. So she had me at 14 years old. Um, she had three boys. None of our fathers was in our life. And she passed away at the age of 46 from breast cancer. So I watched my mom take her last breath. Um, this is Gary, Indiana, about the size of Madison, 80% African American, number one murder capital when I lived there. This is our old house. Sometimes in this house, we had no heat, no lights, no running water. So you can imagine how that is growing up. Michael Jackson is in here. He has nothing to do with this presentation, other than he's from Gary, Indiana. Uh, <laughs> he's the king of pop, and he lived on 2300 Jackson Street. I could see that, but I only got five minutes, so I can do it after this show. Uh, <laughs> Basketball, getting back to the hook. The hook is, basketball was the hook. So it got me to go play ball at Eau Claire, Wisconsin. So I came from Gary, Indiana, the number one murder capital in the place, 80% African American to the whitest place in America and the safest place in America. I actually met my wife in um, Eau Claire, Wisconsin. So we met in 90, 91. Um, she lives outside of here in Madison. So um, this is her. She was classic story. She was a cheerleader. I was a basketball player. We got two daughters, Malia and Skylar. So we like to have fun. And uh, we like to travel to basketball tournaments. Um, in 2001, I moved to Madison. 2002, August, me and my wife got married. 2003, January, I found out we was having our first child. We bought a house. My mom had a brain tumor on her brain. So. Um, and I quit my job. I quit my full-time job. <laughs> After my mom's death, I did that because I wanted to start mentoring positives. So I wanted to do a social good, right? So I wanted to give back. So I took my mom's initials, Muriel Pipkins, and created Mentoring Positives because I knew I'd be mentoring positives in all kids, youth, and families that I met. Um, getting back to basketball is the hook. I took these young men and I used basketball. I used all types of hooks to engage, um, disengage um, kids in our community. So I used basketball as one hook, right? I used um, chess. I use music. I use dance. These are forums that we need to engage our kids to be, um, give them positive outlets to be a part of, um, to be pro-social and, and, and positive in life, right? So um, going to that, when you come to our basketball program, you won't just see basketball. You'll see teenage boys in the gym reading books. Rashad, he wasn't even a basketball player, but um, he made it to UIC. He's a junior there in college right now. So I don't just tell the kids to get education. I, I walk the walk too. So I went back to school after 20 years, got my degree in psychology in May. Thank you, thank you. Um, so it's a very happy moment. So like I say, I, I, I teach what I preach, right? So um, my biggest thing was this social good in urban ag. So this white activist came to me in Darbo and said, hey, Will, we got to get these boys doing something. I was like, yeah, we do. He was like, it was the summer. He was like, well, let's make salsa. I was like, well, let's make salsa. And so uh, we started making salsa. So I took the boys off the basketball court, put them in the garden. So I had them picking, growing tomatoes and peppers. And we created what is called off the block salsa. So off the block enterprises is a social social enterprise business of mentoring positive. So we created um, a stream of revenue to help a nonprofit to help these guys, Tyrone, Quincy, and Eric. These guys are part of our business. You'll see them in Metcalf's Hilldale, West Town, and Piggly Wiggly in Cottage Grove because we just got this product into supermarkets last December in 2014. <laughs> The stuff is so the stuff is so hot. The stuff is so hot. I gotta have the police protect it, right? So that's why we got our neighborhood officer Lester there. He's helping us out, and um, it's just been a really great um, opportunity to engage kids in pro-social activities. These are the guys we're trying to help. So one of our core values is to you know have these guys uh, mentor them today, so they can pass the torch and engage the kids of the of the next generation. So that's what we're doing. That's why. I'm here for social good. 
Where I came from, I never thought I would ever sit with a senator and a mayor in one week. Um, just last week, I sat with Senator Taylor and Paul Soglin in one week. I never had any um, idea I would be doing that. So really, honestly, what I'm telling you, the hook is the key. Where you come from is never where you have to stay. Coming from Gary, Indiana, um, this is my life story. Um, thanks. Thanks.